Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. As you can tell, we are back at Launch Bay Zone. Now why would that be? Because Launch Bay Zone ends completely differently when you play this game with Knuckles locked on. Instead of the credit sequence that you saw previously, also, Super Sonic changes back in it now, which is also a nice little thing, so you can use him in the final boss, quote-unquote. Hey, Knuckles! What is... wait for him. There he is. What is up, Knucklehead? But yeah, once you beat this stage with it locked on to Sonic and Knuckles, the game actively goes into part two, because, like I said, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, this isn't... This is literally the halfway point of the game. And we can go move on to Mushroom Hill Zone. Interesting fact, its beta name was Mushroom Valley Zone. Why is that interesting? I have no idea. It doesn't really matter the name of a level, it's still the same bloody level, isn't it? But either way. It's time to take on the boss of this zone and then move on to Mushroom Hill. Also. You will notice something about this boss right now. Only the first part of the boss fight is actually here. The second part has been removed when it's locked on, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah. But there we go. We just um, finished the zone. <laughs> Easy, no? Ring. Wait. Ring. Okay, there we go. Let's go. So, there goes the death egg, blown up into tiny little chunks. And as we look back into the distant pa distance... Any second now, there we go, there we see it. Falling! Falling. Falling. Did I mention it was falling? <laughs> Alright. There we go, Mushroom Hill's on. We are now into the second part of the game, which I consider the superior part of the game. It's faster, it's better, it's more fun. And it has better music. Also, Knuckles, hey, how you doing? I ain't seen you since a few minutes ago when you just punched me. Oh, he's off. And what's in his cave? It's a secret ring? But, what happens when you touch a secret ring? You teleport! And this is the hidden palace zone, ladies and gentlemen, and... The Chaos Emeralds! What the... Whoa! <laughs> What's going on, man? Yeah, so the Chaos Emeralds, as you can no doubt tell... We don't have them anymore. But... Instead, we can now jump on these super ring emeralds to gain access to new special stages. These are also quite easy-ish because these were the Chaos Emerald stages in Sonic and Knuckles, so... Yeah, but... <laughs> these allow you to get access to a super emerald, which are literally the way to get the, the ultimate end of the game. And no matter what now, folks, we have unlocked the good ending. Because once you get the seven emeralds, that's it, you unlock the good ending. You can go to the final boss fight. But it wouldn't be the same without 100%ing this game because I don't know an LP that doesn't do it. Save for Bruce's, but it doesn't really... Yeah, Bruce doesn't really lock on the game, so if I remember correctly. So that'll be why he doesn't 100%. To his... So yeah, but... Yeah, blah, 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 blah. it's not you love them. Special stages still pretty easy. Simple formula. Collect the blue spheres and uh, avoid the red ones. And that's it. Just be careful though, because you, you can get tripped up. Especially in these ones, because these are harder than the Sonic 3 ones. Oh yes, they are much harder than the Sonic 3 ones. But fortunately, they are still. Uh, pretty easy. So you won't have any Sonic 2 malarkey going on here. 
As you can see, we got the first Super Emerald now! There we go. The red one. You get a nice little animation every time you get a Super Emerald as well, so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty damn nice, bro. Swing. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That's purple. It was red on my. Okay, maybe my maybe my eyesight's going. Oh, no matter. This is Mushroom Hill Zone, folks. Easy stage, which is obvious because it's the first stage of Sonic and Knuckles. It's you know, it's not too much you can say, but it's also an amazing level. This is where the this is where the game turns around because. Sonic 3 up until this point I'm kind of uh, it's it's alright I guess. And it goes this point and I'm just like, yes, best game ever. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I mean what can I say? And as with the seven emeralds in Sonic 3, I'm getting all four all seven super emeralds as well. I think I said that at the beginning in the LP, but you know. Oh, I missed! Actually, it's good that I missed, because otherwise I would have went on the high path, which would have been... Whoa, physics! <laughs> that would have been bad, because... I have a very specific pattern for the to get Super Emeralds, and... Because I don't know where many of the special rings are in this game... I have to stick to this pattern, otherwise, God help me, I'm never gonna get them. Of course, I can mess up a few times, but... You know... But follow, follow where I'm going, and you can probably get the... You, it'll be one of the easier way to get all the super emeralds. All right, this special stage, it's easy. You walk forward. I'm not joking. That's all you do. And occasionally turn. You walk. For <laughs> See, that's still not a big deal. Although this one, you, it, it, this one is one of the more tricky ones, believe it or not, because you, any mistake, and you're dead. And you dead. <laughs> and make a single mistake and you don't get the emerald. So it is pretty unforgiving. And it's a there's a section coming up where nearly everybody will lose, and I'm probably gonna be quiet for that section because it requires instantaneous precision. You need to know exactly when to push the jump button or well not jump button, the left. The right button. <laughs> Oh no, it's not on this one. Okay, never mind, that was easy. <laughs> I was thinking about a different special stage. But there we go, the blue emerald. Ten minutes in and we're already cheesing through the game. <laughs> Swing! All right, mushroom meal's on. Let's go. And if I get to a checkpoint near you, if I remember to actually stop at one, I'm gonna show off something that they've added into Sonic 3 and Knuckles when it's connected. Well, just Sonic and Knuckles, actually, this was added into as well, but... I'll just say connected because it's technically it's half a game if you don't connect them. All right. Ring number three. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder if this section of the game is going to be short. Actually, I probably won't because this this is some of the longest stages ever. Standopolis zone. I'm looking at you, and we'll we'll jump that hurdle when we get to it, folks. You will all see Standopolis, and it's tedium. <laughs> it's not a bad stage. It just goes on for so long. It's the same issue that most people. Well, I have with the Werehog in Sonic Unleashed. It's fun, but it goes on for way too long. You, you want to break after a while. You just don't want to do the same old stuff, do you? But yes. Again, another easy stage. These emeralds aren't looking that super anymore, are they? <laughs> I mean, seriously. 
Oh, we got yet another super emerald, and that means we got it is another super victory. <laughs> okay, that was terrible. I'm sorry. I so I'm sorry. English. It's not my. Can you? Uh, uh, shut up. <laughs> I can't even wo make words. Words, well. He's but the beauty of losing Chaos Emeralds is we get our beautiful Insta Shield back. It's useful as hell. <laughs> Alright, now. I think this might be a. I forgot it, it's the same one. But I was gonna show off some of the bonuses for Psycho Knuckles, because they added extra bonus levels. But no, you don't you want to go with a stunt three bonus. Then again, it depends on your ring count, so I shall really check that first. I don't know how much you need for each thing, but oh well. Sonic and Knuckles, boss number one. Just jump, time your insta shield, and hope to God Tails doesn't mess you up, and you win. Simples. I rarely actually get hit with that. That's a first. And of course the animation glitches. Thank you, Sonic. Ah! Whew. Okay. No, I lost! That was great. Oh, hey Knuckles, what are you doing now? Oh, great. Oh no, you've made me go up to this area. Oh no, whatever will I do? I couldn't get past if you didn't do this anyway, because there's a wall. <laughs> See, Knuckles isn't that bad a guy. He helps you out. Probably because of his own stupidity, but you know. He is uh, quite a stupid echidna, that knucklehead. I say as I run into a chicken. That doesn't move. Way to go! <laughs> no way! The death egg is. Uh oh! Got the speed up! Okay, I'm gonna stop at the, ra the quotes and the voice acting. <laughs> Spin! Yes, you can get some good speeds in this stage. I love this game. I love this game. <laughs> like I said, from Sonic, from this section of the game, I'm probably going to be fangasming every few seconds, going, "Oh my God, this game is amazing!" Of course, I was, I was, I was going to do that with Sonic 2, but I managed to refrain myself. So you know, you guys never know. I could keep my fanboy in. Boom! Secret ring. Special stage number four. Actually, this is the first um, special stage you go into when you play Sonic and Knuckles alone. Who'd have guessed? <laughs> I love the music. Yeah, this is literally one of the easiest special stages you will ever play. The only problem is... This is one of the rare special stages where you can get lost in extremely easily. Because of how easy the stage is. It's just... I don't know how to explain it. Basically, it's so easy that you'll find orbs up until a certain point, then you get lost. But fortunately, that didn't happen to me, and I kind of cleared it in one go. Go me. So, 